My name is Chasekera Paul, uh, the president of Medical Clinic Officers Professionals Uganda. Today we are here in the annual general meeting of clinic officers. This annual general meeting uh, is very important according to our constitution of medical clinic officers in this country that clinic officers uh, come up and make resolutions that uh, keep guiding the uh, organization. So uh, today we have had the several amendments made in the constitution and the, the reviews are still going on. So clinic officers in Uganda who are registered under LIDE are 13,000 in total and those first professionals are found. They serve in all sub-counties in Uganda. I'm St. Ezra Robert Augustine Atenyi. I'm a public health specialist, but with a medical clinic officer's background. <coughs> I work in the district local government of Kakumiro as a head of community health. And uh, I'm happy that today we converged as officers of that background of medical clinic officers for an annual general meeting where we, can, we have and are continuing to discuss issues related to how we can position ourselves rightly to provide quality and accessible health care services to the public. Of course we face challenges, we face many challenges. We don't want to forget that government recently increased the salaries of clinic officers among other workers and we appreciate that so much. Uh, so and uh, we expect clinic officers out there, we urge them to cope, to work very hard because if you are paid, why shouldn't you work? When we are doing our part, the leaders will also do their part and therefore we shall find we are supported. We are supposed to have enough, enough human resources for health. When we, the few who are there as service providers, clinic officers, are laboring to do our part, government will be challenged that since these officers are doing their part, let's do also our part, add them more health workers so that they give us excellent work. We use medicines and health supplies. When we are well utilizing those medicines, monitoring their usage among ourselves to the clients and supporting the clients use it well, government will further support us to give us enough so that we can further support our people. We want to strengthen CPDs. You know, um, uh, the Allied the Professionals Council, uh, it, this mandate, comes from the Constitution of Uganda. And a clinic officer or an LS professional internationally is supposed to offer or to get CPDs. They should get regular regular trainings and regular uh, mentorships and the, and the information and knowledge. So we want to strengthen CPDs at all levels for basically for clinic officers. So this is the main agenda why we are here. And the Minister of Health has become so you know when the population grows, profession is, the, pro, the professionals uh, increase in number, private practice has also grown, which uh, yet we, truly want it to grow, but professionals, their quality of service sometimes it becomes wanting. So we want to improve that area through CPDs. The second area you can see very well, we want to establish partnership and uh, collaboration with other agencies, Ministry of Health, other partners, we have uh, uh, Windows Laboratory. We have friends from U U the U.S., the international delegates, who are bringing us a software to help a clinic officer be able to diagnose diseases very fast and easily. Uh, we want to establish coordination throughout the country. We want more members to come to know where the association is, to be able to coordinate very well, to coordinate them very well, but also to be able to, 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 to supervise them, to be able to organize ourselves. There are then we review to what extent we have been able to exercise our mandate, uh, look out for barriers or things that have not enabled us to do our work well, and the plan. 
based on the above the Rafa and uh, based in the districts where our, the majority of community members are getting services. I have a message to my fellow clinicians that please, to remain relevant, more especially in the quest to usher our communities in the universal health coverage, it is my prayer that we be available. Let's avail ourselves so that we provide a quality service. And while we are there, let's make sure that our services are accessible so that even the lowest community member will have the willingness to seek care. And when they seek care, we have the opportunity to get to learn issues of their affecting their health and then we are in a more poor position to provide guidance so that these people can enjoy better health and become more productive and even lead to development. At the center of universal health coverage is prevention, health prevention, I mean disease prevention. Now, when we have this concept of disease prevention and health promotion within our health services package as clinicians, we are able to support our communities well to embark more on preventive health than curative so that our people have the encouragement to seek health services at well-designated places, more especially health centers, beginning with health center threes onwards. Because government, through its policy, has tried its best to ensure that all sub-counties at least have a health center three with an improved package of health services. And as middle-level service providers, at most of these health centers, we have clinicians or clinic officers. Please, let's embrace this preventive health and support our communities. Spend less on curative because it is well known that prevention is better than cure. And the curative services are expensive, but preventive services are less expensive. And we would give opportunity to our people to use the little money they would otherwise spend on treating diseases to invest it elsewhere and we develop as local governments, uh, districts and develop the country at large. In the partnership with the clinic officers, I am going to provide them with a, a platform whereby they refer samples to my laboratory so that I can assist them to make that diagnosis because it depends on samples. Samples are taken from all over the body and they are sent, we examine them, we normally make the diagnosis uh, ourselves. And some of the equipment that makes this diagnosis are out of range of the unordinary clinic's budget. So we have this equipment and uh, you've heard of a laboratory that sends things to South Africa or to, or to Dubai or, or to Kenya or to Europe. Uh, that is called refer, referral services. So we are going to create that referral service within the country. That things don't go outside of Uganda. We are able to, to look at those samples and make sense, sense out of them. And then we give the clinic officers that. As the Secretary General of the Medical Clinic of Healthcare Professionals of Uganda, uh, they are they are representative at East Africa and the world over. Uh, we have faced a lot of uh, issues, but I call upon the members to subscribe to the association. We come together and actually amplify our voice. Clinic officers are more relevant, not only in Uganda, but even beyond the tides. Uh, we are in harmonization of uh, clinical officer practice at East African level. 
We have visited the East African Legislative Assembly. We have uh, as well what we call Global Association of Green Officers. This we are having a meeting, uh, an annual meeting this March in Zanzibar, Tanzania. And as well in June, we are having a meeting in Malaysia. I call upon members to come on board that this is not only benefiting Alex, the Secretary General, this is our own. This is for our own good, this is for our own purpose in the country and beyond the region.